guys, it's the Africana Mama, and I just wanted to show you really quickly what I just did. And I just have this really great idea of some things you can do um, for your family and your friends. So, last night, I made some chili, six hours in my crock pot. And this time with my chili, I added an extra can of kidney beans. So I actually have light red kidney beans and dark red kidney beans and I added corn. I was just browsing online and I thought it was a really good idea to put corn in the chili, so I'm just experimenting, but it's delicious. Um, and I'll show you guys really quickly. This is the chili right here. I'm about to have another bowl. Um, and this time I added cheese to the top. Um, so, <clears throat> what I wanted to talk to you guys today about that I had a really great idea for your friends and family is, okay, so we know the holidays are coming up. If you cook, on your crock pot a week prior you can freeze the food and then thaw it out and recook it and take it to your friend's house or your family's house for thanksgiving um of course you probably wouldn't be eating chili for thanksgiving or indigenous people's day but this is just an idea um another example is my friend she just had a baby and i wanted to take her a casserole just to kind of help her with the cooking while she's recovering and you know she's so a busy mommy she just this is her second child that's my son in the background um so when i go to her house now this can be frozen up to six months and so now when i go to her house i can just take her a frozen casserole and she can heat it up at any time for her family and they can enjoy so these are just some great ideas um this is not my meat i know you guys are like she's vegetarian but she has sausage in her freezer that's a whole nother video of how do you <laughs> How do you survive in a house where everyone eats meat except you? It's possible, it is. I've been doing my whole life. My whole family eats a lot of meat, but I don't. So of course you can see like my veggie uh, food, like the sausage patties from Morningstar. And um, I had some, I had some veggie burgers. I think I ate them. Oh no, they're back here. I've got my Boca Burger, they are so freaking good. It's not even funny. I've been eating these for years. They're really good. Um, so somebody's gonna have something to say about it. I don't care. It's delicious. Um, and so of course the meat is my fiance's because I do, we do not eat pork actually, my children and I, um, but they love chicken. So of course you can see the Tyson Square chicken over here. Cause I actually don't like to cook meat because I don't eat it. So I should not really a uh, pro at cooking it either. Cause I don't really, I don't eat it. <laughs> So my children at my house, they actually eat um, a lot of veggie dishes. And when they're at their dad's, they eat a lot of meat. So I think it's a good balance. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys really quickly, some give you some ideas of what to do when you have so much chili or whatever crock pot meal you made left over. This is an excellent, excellent idea that I saw online and just decided I was gonna try it out so that I can have food for the next six months food you know food dinners dinner i like dinners already created that i could just heat up then i used to go to the grocery store and purchase these casseroles um and i always knew deep down i was going to be doing this one day <laughs> but i would purchase these casseroles um and i would throw them in the in the oven when i'm in a quick pinch i gotta feed my my boys and i'm busy and i didn't think through like what to make for dinner that boom going into the oven so now instead of making your own food this, instead of like running out to hey guys thanks for watching and hanging out with the africana mama today until i see you again take care of yourselves and each other peace love and light